Hello? Hello, sir, are you there? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm here. What's up? A lot. Got a ton of stuff to do for this railway. How are you? Are you settling in well on your first night? Oh, I'm alright. Just a bit alert, that's all. How so? Well, you know, weird stuff happens on these kind of jobs. You never know what you might encounter. Oh, don't be silly. The only things you'll see or even hear are just birds, wind, and, of course, the radio. I can hear it. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I only have access to one radio station because of the signal. It ends at midnight. It's playing its last song now. That's a shame. They plan to build something around here that, to fix that for you, so you'll be listening to the tunes all night and all sorts of news and conversations. Nice, can't wait. So let's move on to what you have at your new place, shall we? For starters, this is your office, to do whatever you want, of course, that's not illegal or whatnot. Then there's the CCTV system. You probably know how it works due to all the railways you have built. Just pull it up and look around the place with the cameras. There's also a TV behind you to look at what might be behind you if you're making a cup of tea or coffee or so. And of course, the window to look out the back. So for right now, that's pretty much it. There's something on your left we haven't installed yet, but I'll tell you about that when it's done at a later time. Okay, sure. Thanks, man. Now you look after yourself. Gotta do some more work and we'll probably be away for as long as you are. So I'll speak with you later. Good enough. Oh, wait, one, one more thing. Uh, the kids that visit here tend to leave their toys around the area, so keep a close eye out for them. If you do find any, just collect it for lost property in case they come back. Alright, that's it. Good night. Alright, mate. See you soon. So there is nothing to defend myself with. Wow. Good job I bought this thing. And that's all from us tonight. You've been listening to the Mainland FM radio station. Let's finish the night off with a joke, shall we? So I walked past the park today, and there was a young woman and her baby chicken who was stuck in a tree. A man standing there asked me if I could climb up there and save them. He told me to be careful, though, because it's a tall tree and I might hurt myself if I fall. So I replied with, oh, I don't think so. I'm afraid the chicks are too high. Tune in tomorrow for another spectacular show. Alert, unauthorized personnel in sector yellow. Alert, unauthorized personnel in Sector Brown.
Oi, you! You are way over the speed limit. Stop, or we'll be tasered. I don't get it. I hope Smudger's alright. I did give him that voice activated headset that engines can use to, you know, call people's phones. Then again, can he just use his powers he gained from the afterlife to call me? Well, speak of the devil, I guess. Ah, I was worried about you, mate. How's everything going? Yep, all good at the moment. I've seen where every engine is and where they're going, and I'm gonna start rescuing them soon. Just got to see what else Danny is up to right now. Right, but more importantly, did you see any other engine or whatever heading towards my location? Yeah, it's scruffy. They all come back eventually, don't they? Anyway, I should let you know that different engines that are possessed, the instincts vary. For example, scruffy, he's a coal truck, and he's a bit of a psycho. He isn't going to do what Proteus and Bertram do. For example, they try to sneak attack you, where Scruffy's going to try and rush in and do as much damage as possible. So, the way to avoid this is just to avoid eye contact. You said your office is kind of dark, so he won't be able to see you straight away if you look behind you. So if you do look behind you, he'll leave. Simple. I'm sure you can handle it, right? Oh, of course I can. No problem. Yeah, of course, and thank you for making me choose the right path. I am forever grateful. I'm back now, and I ain't going nowhere. I'll see you soon. All right then, take it easy now. Alert, unauthorized personnel in sector yellow. Alert, unauthorized personnel in sector brown. Ha <laughs> ha 
off your lower back? Well, you ain't getting it. Well, just another night at the office, am I right? What? Hello? Uh, yeah. This is an automatic message from the FBI. A specimen in our base has escaped. He is known as just the train and has been seen in your area. It is important that you do not attempt to run away anywhere as he might be around you and will catch you if you attempt to escape. If you ever see him rushing toward your location, immediately look behind you, as you can only see people by eye contact. Be sure to be very quick, as he is very fast, and if you can, try and call the police. Oh no, don't worry, that's awesome. It's not like I'm facing a load of other things right now. You let another psycho train run about the place. Alert, unauthorized personnel in sector yellow. Alert, unauthorized personnel in sector brown.
Sector Orange. Hey, you down there! I have been ordered to kick your green butt. It was a showdown you're looking for. I'm totally in the mood. Surely a good idea, sir.
some reason, Smudger told me to buy sugar, and I have no idea why. Time to find out. Hey, you got the sugar? Yes, just like you asked. What do I need this for? Well, I have seen a large diesel head towards your location. His name is Diesel 10. You told me most of your enemies are coming from in front of you, so most likely this one will come from behind to make things harder. Anyway, sugar thrown into diesel's machinery can make them seize up, so obviously you won't want that. So when you see him, throw some sugar at him to make him go away. Try to check quite a lot, because the closer he gets to you, the more sugar you are going to have to throw to make him leave. Alright, don't worry. Pinchy better hope he has a sweet tooth for the dinner I'm going to serve him. Alright, I'm about to go and save the diesels. I think I've seen Derek about and... Hello! I want you to enjoy the ride! Oh, gotta go. See you later. <laughs> Alert. Unauthorized. Personnel in. Sector. Yellow. <laughs> Unauthorized personnel in sector brown. Alert, unauthorized, personnel in, alert, unauthorized, personnel in, sector, orange. Alert, 
We three are doing your work now. You're too slow.
We three are doing your work now. You're too slow. Why don't you just get on with it and set the damn thing off? I could do that, but you're important. Important? What do you mean by that? Well, you see, Smudger knows about you and is trying to be the hero now. And when he sees you like this, he's gonna give it all his best and give me the fight I want. <laughs> Stanley, I'm here to give you an update on Tim. What's his status, brother? Well, he's still alive. Clever man. Looks like we got the difficulty at hand. What do you have in mind, boss? 
We will give our soldiers one more chance to put him down. If he survives the night again, he will have to deal with us on the next one. Well, there isn't no newcomer tonight, but I have the feeling things are about to get very serious. How's it going, man? Derek didn't mess you up too much, did he? No, you know how good I am at getting out of messes. You know, if we keep this up, I think we're actually going to make it. Hopefully. We haven't won yet, though. Anyway, I need a favour from you. You need me to clean up your oil spill? Hilarious. I need you to pick up something for me. I need it for a very important task. I'll give you details when you are done with your shift. Okay, in return for that, you need to call Stanley's dogs off me. I'll be over there to save Proteus and Bertram later today. I appreciate your help very much. Just give me one day, and it's just Stanley and his friends left. We will prepare for that. You just go do what you got to do. Here I come! Duck pitching! <laughs> Alert, unauthorized personnel in sector yellow. Alert, unauthorized personnel in sector brown. Alert, unauthorized personnel in sector orange. <laughs>
So is this the thing you ordered? Yep, it is indeed. Okay. What are we waiting for now, then? Oh, just an old friend. Here you go. It's about time you got your life back, and to ride the rails again. Thank you so much, Sludger. I am eternally grateful, and I owe you. Welcome back, mate.
Hey, looky there, Granddad. Here comes your little green savior. <laughs> Let him go. Smudger, please get out of here and save yourself. I'm sorry that I abandoned you back at the Midsodal Railway, but I don't deserve to be rescued after I did that to you. I deserve this. You know, the old me would have done exactly that, or probably wouldn't have come here at all, but there is an engine that wants to see you after a very long time. Who is it? Is it Peter Sam? Sir Handel? I think you know exactly who it is. Wait, you found him? He's safe? He is now. He wasn't before. And that's down to you! So that's what this is about then, huh? That stupid little engine and his accusations, along with you two as well, could have got me in serious trouble, and you wouldn't have even given it a second thought! Now here's the deal. You defeat me, he lives. Now if you don't, well, <laughs> I think you're clever enough to figure that out for yourself. If that's how it must be. Get off of me! I told you Dookie would survive! 
I didn't say anything about you. If I can't have your kill, I will have you instead. Are you all right, mate? Yeah, I'll live. I don't understand, Smudger. Why? Why would you do all this to save me? To be honest, I don't really know fully. Because we wanted the old gang back together, silly. <laughs> nice to see you again, youngin. And Smudger, thank you. I am truly very, very sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Let's go home. I figure you two have a lot to talk about. <sighs> that will be nice. Excellent idea. I have waited too long to start working again. Um, Tim? Yeah? I just realised, um, where is home, mate? Well, the engines we saved will give some money, selling them to other railways, as long as we make them kid-friendly again first. <laughs> <laughs> uh.